in a minute will rival some of the totals we had around here on the big one uh -oh. back in December yeah. on the 10th and 11th. Uh, my daughters are off school tomorrow, and I'm putting them to work. Okay. Shovel in the driveway. No, you kidding. are such a good dad. I will let them play in the snow uh -huh. while I shovel the driveway. Uh, things are starting to light up, at least in the southern metro. And uh, as I mentioned, Mike Fairborn is going to show you some totals that are pretty eye-popping for some of the communities just south of Minneapolis and St. Paul. Still some light snow bands that will be coming through. Uh, good news for folks down in southeastern Minnesota. Earlier this afternoon, we were getting reports of sleet that was accumulating up around an inch. Freezing rain, which was making any travel along 90, 35, Highway 52 very, very dangerous. But things had pretty much shut off uh, at this point in southern Minnesota. You can see the band is slowly lifted to the north. Now folks in St. Cloud Sox Center starting to see some of the heavier snow bands. You can see a pretty sharp cutoff though. This line has been slow to lift. There's been a strong northeast wind that we felt here. It's been pumping in pretty dry air which really held that line pretty steady throughout the night. But this system continues to lift a bit to the north. The low is down in Iowa. We'll slide to the east. That means it will drag some of this snowfall across us. So our accumulation is not quite done yet and that wind is going to stay strong right into the day tomorrow. That's why we have the warnings and advisories out there. Let's take a look at those real quick uh, for us in the Twin Cities. Still a winter storm warning in effect until noon tomorrow. Here's the trouble area. You know those open fields in West Central Minnesota. The wind quite strong. That's why there's a blizzard warning. This too is in effect until noon and Mike Fairborn is going to share some of those snow totals. Impressive snow totals <laughs> that we've had so far. Yeah, just some of the new ones coming in. Uh, so far the heaviest snows have been south of us, but with this snow band shifting northward, now parts of central Minnesota are going to start seeing those snowfalls uh, accumulate like we've had here. So, so far, just picking out a few of the uh, heavier amounts, Bloomington 15 inches, Eden Prairie 14, a new updated total for Minneapolis. 13 inches of snowfall, so a lot of double-digit snowfall amounts there, 12.5 in Menominee and 11.8 down in Richfield. So all total, we'll probably end up with pretty close to that 8 to 15 inch range right through the Twin Cities area. Now the computer is still saying that overnight tonight we could pick up an additional 3 to 4 inches of snow as that goes into tomorrow afternoon up to 5 inches by noon. Into the afternoon, things really kind of do wind down and it looks like most of the snow fall will be over with by around 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. But up until then, we're going to continue to see uh, some of that snowfall. 25 degrees outside. It hasn't been real cold. The snow to uh, water ratio has been around 10, 11 to 1. So some pretty good snowfall amounts out there with the uh, snow that's fallen. There's the colder temperatures up to the north that are coming down. You can see that <clears throat> we do stay in the snow throughout the day tomorrow for whatever rush hour there will be, finally letting up into the evening hours. So that's the way it's shaping up for us with a high tomorrow again around 28 degrees. This colder air is going to start filtering in uh, toward us as we head into the middle part of the week. You can see 23 tomorrow, 24 on Tuesday. By Wednesday, a little peak up to around 33, maybe a little bit of melting around the edges. We drop back into the teens for high temperatures toward the end of the week with overnight lows into the single digits. So this snow is going to stick around for a little while. You're going to have to move it around with your snow shovel. Yeah. All right. I hate to go to all this work and then just have it disappear <laughs> That's overnight. Me too, yeah. At least instantly. Yeah. You guys Thanks. are nuts. Thanks, Thanks. Mike.